Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends, and let us have some good time together. Uh, as you see the topic, you know, about uh, a Muslim, he made a comment, and, you know, we encourage Muslims to make their comment as many as they can, uh, because this is how we can discuss things, you know, and I like the intelligence of Muhammadan. Actually, after a long, 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 long time studying Islam and uh, Muslims' answers, I come to the conclusion that the most smart people in the world are those who call themselves Muslims. And because they are so smart, they accept that there is God. If they believe in him, he will give him 80,000 little women to sleep with. And this is logical. And this God, he promised you that you will have endless private part. And the women, she will have a vagina fit for that, which is logical. And this God, he will give you uh, 80,000 little boy uh, to serve you, which very logical. And this God, before you enter heaven, he will make you white because he like white, which is logical. And when this God, he created Adam, he hit Adam in his right shoulder and he made the white people come from the right shoulder. And he said to them, you go to heaven. And then he hit the left shoulder of Adam. And then the black people came from there and he said to them, you go to hell and I don't care, which is very, very logical. So when a Muslim, he speak about logic. And he tried to play a logical person. Do his logic stand his logic? So this Muhammadan, he said this, why I cannot be a Christian? My friend, thank God you are not. I mean, we don't want somebody to believe that there is a God. He will give you endless penis to join us. We don't want that. You know, stay where you are. There are many issues, but I point out, out a few major issues we do not know what jesus said like what the heck you don't <sighs> guys you do not know what jesus said you know i'm, I'm going to hire somebody he worked for me his name is allah this is your God, Allah, saying that the Christians in the time of Muhammad, at least 600 years after Jesus, they have the book. And as long, you know, the holy drama is about, about what? It's about Jesus' book. You know, he said, I don't have the book of Jesus claiming but isn't it the book of Jesus according to Islam is the book of Allah so are you giving Allah a screwdriver saying to him you stupid Allah why you send Jesus anyway if nobody can have his book what a Muhammadan he do you know he screw his God without noticing and this is your God the chapter of the cow mm, I hope you are not Hindu and when come to them when the book was sent to them by Allah verifying what they had been revealed to them already even though before they be, okay, look at translation here this guy is adding words and who is this idiot let us see this guy is making a drama <laughs> verifying what already reported to them <laughs> so okay uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> Muslim translation, you know, you notice something about the Muslims, like this guy is talking about what is clear, what is not clear. I mean, look at the Arabic text. Do you see how short the Arabic text? And look how long the English text, that's telling you that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. He could not express himself in his Arabic. And his Arabic isn't clear. To the point we have to add things, it's not even there. But look what the verse is saying. Chapter, the, the cow chapter, the, the Hindu uh, chapter, and there come to them, to who? To the Jews. How do you know the Jews? Okay, just let it go. Uh, a book, uh, this is the Quran, brother, from Allah, confirming what is with them. The Torah and the Injil. I mean, look at the stupidity. He just said in the beginning to the Jews, and then he added the Torah and the Injil. But the Jews don't believe in the, believe in the gospel, you idiot. In fact, the Quran saying 
that confirming what with them, the people of the book, there is no Jews, there is no Christians. People of the book mean both. But because those idiots try to explain the stupid Quran, which is hard to you know to translate for it is shortage of everything. As you see, we have to add words, bracket, you know, zucchini, spicy, you know. So as you see, your stupid God is confirming my book. So what we would do now? All your statement here is about we don't have the book of Jesus. Oh, we have Mr. Metaphorical. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm fine, my friend, Metaphorical guy. How's your day? It's okay. So what do you think about the topic? We're talking about logic. Okay, so... Do you believe in logic you said... or you are against logic? Okay, look, look. Just um, so we talk civilizedly, please. I'm so talking about civilized. What I said? Did I call your name? Did I say anything? <laughs> No, but you're, you're basically speaking quickly. Let's just take it slowly, okay? My friend, okay, I will speak uh, okay. slowly. So yeah, what please, do you yeah. think about logic? Okay, can you mention about the fire again, please? Can I mention what? The burning bush. Who was in the burning, burning bush? Oh, you want to go back to the burning bush? I mean, we don't have to go back. You can ask me any any question about Islam, but we don't have to go back. Okay, but we go if you back. Want, we can go back. Okay, we will go want, back to the burning back. bush. Okay, what do you want okay. to say to me about the burning bush? Okay, so I just want to clarify. You've asked me who was in the fire, right? Exactly. Who was in the fire? Okay. And, and I said to you already, it's not Allah. Okay? Who and, is, I, and I will still stand to it. Who is so in the, the person, fire? Okay. Who was in the fire is the angel. Oof. That's deep. No, it's the angel. Ah. What do you think about that? Okay, well, it says, I'm speaking slowly, so you don't say okay. I'm being not civil. No, where, that's, thank, thank you where for that. You got, where you got the word angel in the verse? Well, <clears throat> in the understanding of the scholars, they. Eh? I'm gonna let me talk, please. Don't interrupt me, okay? I'm not even the, talking. Okay, okay, thank you. It says the surroundings of it and the one in it. Um, sorry. Um, actually, the one that where he says by is actually the angel there, because the scholars have actually come to the conclusion to say it's obviously not Allah. Allah wouldn't be in that fire. It's the angel. If you don't believe me, I can prove it to you from your own book. Ah, you can prove it to me from my own book. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. So you, you, you did cons right you did you, you, you did consult with the scholars, and the scholars they found this information from my book or from your book. Look, um, obviously within our own understanding of it. It's not from the Christian understanding. But nope. I can also show no it to problem. you from your own book So can there. you show me where you got the understanding from? Because when you say the scholars, they say that to you, that means they have a proof of it. Okay, what okay. can I explain now? Can I Go explain ahead. It? Okay, the reason why is because we know that Allah <laughs> cannot be in that fire. So the one that's in that standing by and the surroundings, yeah, Obviously, Allah's voice is there. That's one of the surroundings of Allah, the voice. But the other one is the angels are there, even though the angels are not mentioned there. Mm. So the angel is one of them, or I don't know how many of them. Mm. Yeah, but The one he says in that area is definitely the angels. Obviously, Allah's voice is there uh, as well. Mm. Are, we, are we clarified with that? Yeah. So... I ask you, what is the proof? You said to me, obviously, it's not Allah in the fire. <laughs> no, it's not Allah. It's not Allah in the fire. But listen, I've told you before already. Listen, and I my friend. You said yes, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I ask you how you mm -hmm. come to the conclusion of obviously. I've just explained to you. I said to you, uh -huh. yeah, because sometimes when Allah, no, well, most of the time when he deals with things, the angels are there. So this is what the understanding is. That's deep. 
So no, Allah true. did not talk to Moses. No, I, I said to you already, Allah's voice is there, but the ones who were there with the surrounding mentioned the Quran are the angels. Okay. Alongside Allah's voice. Allah voice in the fire? Look, the angel, the angels are around that area. Allah's voice, whether it's in the fire or there, it doesn't matter because Musa is speaking to him. You know what I mean? You know, I but left Allah, you. Allah is not actually there physically. I left okay? you for 48 hours and you come back to me saying, beside mm -hmm. the fire. <clears throat> Who? Sorry. You keep saying, you, you keep angels. saying, beside the fire when the verse says, in the fire. Well, when it's beside or in, now now to my conclusion. No, no, yeah, no. It's actually the angel. Hold it's not Allah. Hold on, hold on. It's not Allah, is it? Hold on. You don't believe it's Allah. You said you? to me, you did to read the scholars. Did the scholars say in the fire or beside the fires? Are you talking about Allah or just... What's wrong the, with you? Which one is it? Can, the you, verse, can you clarify the verse, which one is it? The verse... Does it say in the fire or beside the fire, according to the scholars, you did read their opinion? Well, in my in my translation, the one I have, I, I've already told you, is it says by the fire. But anyway, whether it's by or in, yeah, it's not actually Allah, it's the angels. You said to me, that. but this is not my question. The okay. scholars, you said to me, the scholars, the scholars said. So in the scholars, what they say to you, did they say that there's somebody in the fire or beside the fire? Well, I've watched one of the scholars and he mentioned there's a possibility that the angel was in the fire. This is you not know? the question. No. The scholar, <laughs> did he say the verse say in the fire or beside the fire? What my understanding is... Do you is, want to is, cough? Is, you can yeah. cough. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking, please. Don't interrupt no, me. Because Muslims always, I get them some help when they cough. Like, <laughs> you're thinking of a lie. So why you don't want to answer who the scholar... You said to me, I did check okay, with okay, the scholars. Okay. Can you, um, and I'm asking you, you, did the scholar yeah. say that there's somebody was in the fire or beside the fire? I've just told you that there's a possibility is the angel this there. Is not the question. Not this is not the question. <laughs> Let me repeat again. The scholars, the scholars, yeah. when yeah. you read their pages, did they say the verse says that someone was beside the fire or someone is in the fire? <laughs> okay. I've watched um uh I don't I can't remember his name. Uh, Mickey, Mouse? It says, Mickey Mouse. It says it's angels. Mickey no, Mouse. I can't remember the name, right? Mickey can't Mouse. The name. <laughs> no, it's not Mickey Mouse. I, you, but you no, said no, to no, me, you said problem. to me, this I did read problem. the scholars. You did read the scholar. Now you are saying to me, you did watch Mickey Mouse. Okay. Okay. Can I talk now? Okay. You can. But hold on. I, I didn't, let me close this cartoon. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. If you look at um, um, in Acts oh. chapter seven, verse thirty, hmm. yeah. The same burning bush, it says the angel hmm. is in there. It's not God. So is God an angel? Are, are they the same? Hmm. So, are they the same? Uh, you know, you, you cannot run away from my question, my friend. I'm asking you, are they the same? Listen, God listen, and angel? you cannot run same? away from my questions. I gave you 24 <laughs> hours, correct? 48 hours. You didn't give me, because you, you hung up on me. I hang up on you because you are a kid. You refuse to tell me if it is in the fire or beside the fire. How do you know I'm a kid? Is that because of the way you saw my face? No, because you have a broken tooth already. <laughs> this is what kids do. Listen. I mean, they, they, they bite the rocks, etc. So listen, who is in the fire? Is it somebody in the fire or beside that? Because before we continue, we have to agree. Is it someone mm -hmm. in the fire or beside the fire? Okay, angel, angel in the fire. Okay, so you now, you wasted my time last time, 40 minutes talking about that is in the fire when you said to me beside the fire but anyway look i've told no, don't, you don't don't skip yeah. don't skip don't skip are you saying the now are you saying now you admit you admit that you were reading from false translation okay it could be it could be a wrong translation no then. i don't want it could be either it is or not 
<laughs> okay, look, 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 look. All right, I've I told don't, you. No, don't, it's the don't angel repeat, now. Don't repeat What's your, the my now? friend, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm asking you. Yeah. Does it say in the fire or beside the fire? <laughs> I just answered you already, mate. No. Is it in the fire or beside the fire? Okay, in the fire. Okay, so apologize for being stupid. No, no, no. Let's let's oh, look. Are we going to talk about this or are you going to? No, we are going to talk about, about it because you gave me headache, and I show it to you in the front of your eyes in Arabic and English, and then you still being stubborn, following a stupid translation, which is corrupting your God book. Look, Christian Prince, sometimes, man, you're calling me a kid, but the way you behave sometimes is childish. Man. Listen, on, listen, believe... I, I'm not the one, I'm not the one who add sentences to my book. That is not an act of a man. Okay, um, so we uh, move on to Ma Mary. The no, we did not move. No, we did not finish. Okay, so now, you, so now, hold on. You said that the one is in the fire as an angel, and you quote for me from the book yes, of check, Acts, correct? Check. Yeah, check Acts 17, okay, hold verse on. 30. Okay, Acts, hold on. Acts, Acts 7, Do you agree? Do you agree with the book of Acts? Um, I don't agree with it, but because so we cannot you quote it, so we cannot hang quote on, it. Hang okay. on, hang on, hang on. Because you I'm not agree talking, with it. I'm not talking That's about why. my God now. Listen, I'm not talking about yeah, my God. Yeah, but you agree with it. You no, no, agree no, listen, with listen, it. listen. So I'm, you have to I'm not it. talking about my God. I'm talking about your God. So when the Quran says a voice came from the tree, from the holy ground, I ask why there is a why it's called holy ground. You said to me there's many holy places, correct? Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. right. And you mentioned to me the cave of Hera, where your prophet been squeezed three times, first time, correct? Cave of Hera is one of the holy places. But right, this is yeah. never mentioned, neither in the Hadith or in Quran. You Muslims making things up. Secondly, it doesn't have to be mentioned. Hold on, no, you cannot make things holy if they are not holy. Secondly. You said that uh, 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 the place uh, where, where Moses, he saw God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you Muslim know where it is? It's in modern-day Saudi Arabia. What, do you know where it is, the location exactly? It's in modern-day Saudi Arabia. Okay. In, now, do you know the location it's... according to the Quran, where it is? Well, the Quran didn't say... No. Okay. So now, let us confirm this. Okay. So now, a holy place become a holy place because of what? You said to me because because of a blessing from Allah. Allah actually bless, chooses the bless, place a blessing to be from a Allah. Place. Okay, blessing. Allah chose the place to be uh, holy. Allah chooses it. All right. Is the is the heaven of Allah is a blessed place? The heavens, yes, of course they are. What isn't it? Satan was there. Yes, at the beginning, when uh -huh. Satan was a believer, he was there. Do you not did, believe the heavens did, are blessed? Did, did Satan leave Islam? Did, did, Sa did Satan leave Islam? Satan, yes. Because Allah actually cursed him. Where? Um, in Surah Al Baqarah. Is Adam a prophet? Yes, he's a prophet, Adam alayhi salam. Did, did Allah curse him? No. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. Can you see my screen? I'm not actually watching you. Are you online, actually? Let, let me have a look. Hmm. I want, just to let you know, I won't stay long because I'm busy later, yeah? I know. You are looking for the blessed places. <laughs> look. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Things to do, all right? I'm a responsible man, all right? Chapter 2, verse number 36. Wait, look wait, like most wait. of the stories of your God is in the cow chapter. Chapter 2, wait, wait, verse number... Wait. Yeah, let me, get, let me get my Quran, please. Get What's your Quran, saying? which have fast translation. Wonderful. Come on, because this is your problem. You mm. rude people. You shouldn't do but that. But you are the one who gave right? me a false translation. You, you cannot deny yeah, it now. You don't have to be rude, okay? We, <clears> right? <throat> you have to be respectful towards towards each other, okay? Okay. Come on, okay? Uh -huh. If you want, if you want people to see the good side of Christianity, you can't behave like that. Well, I, I, I am the one who decide. Like no, no. You see, people love the side of Christianity, the one I present. Don't tell me. You follow Muhammad, the one who married six years old girl. And this is the side of Islam. I don't marry Not children, six. so Not don't six. don't go there. Now answer. Anyway, did okay. Allah, where, did where Allah did curse Adam? And where? Where? Sorry again. Chapter, chapter two, two, verse, verse number thirty-six. Okay. Let, shall I read it out for you? Read it. Go ahead. And we say, and sorry, no, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. 
Okay, here it is. It says, but Shaitan made them slip up by the means of it, expelling them from where they were. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we said, go down from here as enemies to each other. Mm -hmm. You will have residence on the earth and enjoyment for a time. Is that a curse? Well, that's what it says on it. You said to me, no. You said to me, Adam was not cursed. You said only Shaitan was cursed. But it doesn't say here he's cursed. No, it says, it says, I will make you enemy to each other. Get down. This is a punishment, right? Get down. Yes. Okay, so I'm punishing them. I'm cursing them that now you will become enemy. I will let you in the ground and you fight each other and he kill you. You fight him, you know, he'll make you suffer. So this is a curse. Yeah, yeah. Is it a blessing to make no, sure? Can I, is it, can I explain? Is it a, is it a blessing? This, no, no, just wait. Is it a blessing to unleash Satan on me? Is that a blessing? Can I explain it then, please? I'm asking you, is it a blessing? To yeah, well, let me explain. Okay, let me go explain. Ahead. You've asked me a question, right? Just let me finish it all, okay? Don't interrupt me, please. Hmm. Okay? All right. When Allah says to send down there to be enemies, yeah? Hmm. He's talking about, not, not Adam alayhi salam, he's talking about human beings in general. Oh. If you look at human beings, I'm going to, let, let me finish. You see, this is your problem. Uh, Come on, hey? Okay. Um, are you online? Let me just follow you. Are you online? Yeah, follow me. Don't follow okay, Muhammad. Okay, That's good. Okay. No, no, I'm following you online, not as a, not, not as a believer in you. I don't believe in you. Oh, okay. Let alone in the Christian okay. belief. Can Let's you read believe. for me the verses uh, the verses slowly so I can stop you when I can, please? Because I want you to say certain words. Can you read it again? Yeah, okay. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah, I'll read it again. Yeah, I'll read, read it again. But slowly, because I'm not smart like you. Okay. I mean, I've got English. I'm from England, all right? So if you don't You're understand from my England. accent... Yeah, you are England. From yeah, and you take an oath for the, the king of England, which is a Christian. Yeah, as in the Quran say, take not Christians and Jews as a friend of protectors. Chapter 5, verse 51. What are you laughing? You are no Muslim. This, this country, England, also allows Islam. Doesn't matter if it's allowed or not. The Quran says, take allow. not Christians or Jews as a friend. It doesn't say, take Charles or not a Charles. It says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors. And you, because you are a hypocrite like the rest of the Muslims. I can explain. I can you take, explain that. Okay, let us finish one. this one. Let's finish this one. Okay, read, okay. Read, read the verse for me. You think you think I'm one of those Muslims you can play around? You are by not anyway. Muslims. Okay. Muslims are potatoes. <laughs> Muslims are potatoes. Okay. You, are, you are a tomato. <laughs> All right, let me read it out again. Hmm. But Shaitan made them slip up by the means of it, expelling them from where they were. Hmm. We, God said, go down from here. As enemies to each other. Stop. You will so find get down, okay, okay. get down. All he spoke to whom you said to me, This is mankind. Why was mankind in heaven? Only Adam well, and Eve. No, no, but when Allah is talking about here, he's talking about here in terms of because Adam alayhi salam cannot be an enemy alone of himself with his wife. Okay, you know what I mean, so it's talking about the descendants of Adam alayhi salam. Okay, so are you saying to me that Allah did not make shaitan an enemy to the prophet Adam? No, Allah didn't make it. Hmm. You, know? you have Satan, your, you have your, of, you have your. Because of kibir, because of arrogance, that's what uh, made Satan. So, so Allah did, the, Allah did not make Shaitan the enemy of the prophets. Okay. So, huh? Sorry, I didn't hear you there. Can you repeat, please? So you are saying that your God Allah did not appoint the Shaitan to be the enemy of the prophet Adam and the other prophets. Well, if you look at Iblis, because mm. he disobeyed Allah, let me uh -huh. just finish here. Uh -huh. He disobeyed Allah, so that's a curse for him. And if you look in the Quran, he asks Allah for yeah. a respite for his life to be delayed, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So Allah granted him, okay? And then he said to Allah, I'm going to uh, lead all of them astray except your true servants, like the prophets. And the noble pi pious wonderful, people, wonderful. You know I mean? Can you read for okay. me chapter six, verse number one, twelve? Okay, six. One, but I haven't finished 12. the other one, mate. You keep, yeah, no, you we keep are talking about the same one. Don't worry. Around. I'm just getting you busted. That's chapter all. Six. I'm just getting you busted. <laughs> Inshallah, it won't happen. Okay, chapter six, one twelve. Verse, verse what? One twelve. Which means the one bef after one eleven, and the one before it is yeah, one ten. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I know that. I'm just asking you to clarify. Mm. It's got, it's got a, um, uh, obviously different accent to me, so 
we've, we've got a patient to each other, all right? No problem. It's, come on, we can't be horrible to each other, mate. Okay. All right? It's not nice to be picking on each other, man. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the 112 you said, yeah? Yeah, the one after 111. Okay. 112. Okay. It says, in this way, we are appointed as enemies to every prophet. I know this. I'll answer this. But anyway, I'll read it out for us. It says, in this way, we have appointed as enemies to every prophet, Satan from both mankind and from the jinn, who okay. inspire each. Stop. Shall I continue? So is it a curse or this is a blessing? Well, when it says here to appoint prophets, um, to appoint enemies to every prophet, because if you look at it, yeah, for um, human beings to be able to be pure and clean, yeah, mm -hmm. they've got um, Iblis constantly under attack on them, mm -hmm. including the prophets of Allah, okay? Okay. This is what this is what Iblis said at the beginning from Ireland. That's why he said, yeah, I will, um, I will lead all of them astray except your pure servants. So this doesn't include the prophets when it comes to Satan tempting them. Prophets are also tempted by Satan, you know, but Alhamdulillah, Allah has given them something, yeah, for them to resist Satan temptation. You know, this is why we don't believe prophets of God to commit um, sins. They make mistakes, but they don't commit major sins. You uh, know, like 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 okay. like idol worship, like it says in the Bible, Solomon okay. worshipped idols, okay. right? Okay. And it says Lot, it says Lot slept with his two daughters. Okay. We don't accept these things. We don't okay. Let us go one by one. Let's go one by one. Okay. So yeah, now yeah. you said to me in yeah. chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two, uh, yeah. it says. Uh, uh, Shaitan, no, you know. I'm not. I'm not cutting you off, but um, I'll be gone in about oh, um okay. forty minutes. Yeah, just to okay. let you know. Okay, yeah, no problem. But you said to okay. me that uh, Shaitan is the one yeah. who tempts people, right? Say so, yeah, yeah, it's one of these qualities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it Allah who tempts Shaitan? Tempt him to do what? To commit sin, mislead him. No. Read for me no, chapter 15, Shaitan. verse. Read for me chapter 15, verse number 39. Verse number 39 is the one after 38, which means the one after it is 40. It is between. Christmas, come on. Everybody eh? will laugh at you in two seconds. Just read it. <laughs> okay, he said th 39, yeah? Hmm. 15, 39. Yeah, the one 39, the one I, after 38, yeah. Yeah, he said, okay, so I read it out for you. Hmm. He said, my Lord, because you have misled me, or shall I continue? Uh oh, uh -oh. hold on. Shall I continue? Uh oh, hold on. You Are said, you, you said, I said to you, did Allah mislead Shaitan? You said, no. No, I, yes, I did say that. No. Shall I, shall Not, I explain yeah, you first? said, no, don't explain now. You said, no. No, no, no. no. It says, Iblis said, Allah didn't say Iblis? that. Iblis? Said, yeah, and Allah Iblis. agreed. Allah agreed. Did he say to him, no, this is wrong? <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> right. this is so, your hold on, hold on. So not only Shaitan, you are the one who said to me, oh, hold, hold on, I need to speak slow. Sorry, I forgot okay. the deal. Okay, not only Shaitan, he misled the prophet, and you said to me that Shaitan now is disbeliever. In fact, Shaitan is an employed of Allah because Allah, he said, I will make I will appoint for every pri for a prophet. Every pro I appointed, which means they are hired by him. They work for him. And now Shaitan explained to us why he worked for Allah as a Shaitan. Allah is the biggest Shaitan. He is the boss. He misled Shaitan. And now Shaitan, he said to himself, you know what? What the heck? I mean, Shiti is here. Shiti is there. I'm Shaitan. I'm Shaitan. If I go obey Allah or don't obey Allah. So Allah made Shaitan Shaitan by lying to him, misleading him. And now Shaitan, he said, okay, you know what? I will return the favor for you. You misled me. I'm going to mislead them. The verse in the front of you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so obviously you get into a lot of stuff. But anyway, inshallah, I'll answer you. Okay. Mm. Shaitan, Allah didn't mislead Shaitan. Shaitan misled himself. Okay. Where do you get okay? this from? Where do you get this from? It, but look, everybody... Yeah, have got a free will, including jinns. And Satan is from among the jinns. Big fat liar. He's not an angel. Big fat liar. Yes, he is an, a jinn. He's not okay, an angel. Okay, hold on. 
is do I prove the, between the Quran? Okay, hold on. He's hold a, on. He's a jinn. Hold on. I know he's a jinn, you idiot. So what? Okay, is then it, there you go. Don't deny it. No, then. he's a shaitan still, my friend. He's a shaitan. This is this is the father of all Satan, actually. Okay. And, and there's Can things you can't explain. Explaining? Lord, listen. I mean, this is the Quran is a stupid book. Like Allah, he kicked Satan out of heaven, but he kicked only one. But nobody can no Muslim can explain to us how he have many many kids with stupid religion. Look like this guy, Shaitan, he lay eggs, don't he? But anyway, even if you lay eggs, you need a rooster. But look what happened now. So Allah, let me finish now. So, slow, okay. slow. I'm talking slow. So okay, listen, okay. because if you speak fast, you don't understand my accent. Okay. So Shaitan now, and you keep repeating, saying Allah did not mislead him. This is what Shaitan is saying. But Allah, he agreed with him. He responded to him. He said, except your chosen, he said to him, actually, Shaitan, except your chosen one, slaves among them. And then, and he said, Allah, he said, oh, by the way, who is the one who said Allah or Shaitan? And this is the way which led me astray to me. Can you explain this verse for me? Verse number 41. 41, okay. Hmm. <laughs> he said, this is a straight path to me. You have no authority <laughs> over. Hang on, hang on. Let me, what, what are you laughing for? <laughs> this is a disaster <laughs> verse. Who is talking? Who is talking? Yeah, let me finish then. Okay, okay. You keep interrupting me. Okay. This is your problem, Christian. You interrupt you Muslims. You can do that. Okay, you okay. Do that. okay, okay. Don't waste time. You have only 40 minutes. Come on. Yeah, because I'm busy later. Uh, he said, okay, so I read it out all in context, yeah? Mm. Please, let me oh, read it out. Oh, I need now to read. Okay. Um, don't, you know, you read it, read it. Don't listen to me. Guys, okay. he said, read it. He said, read it only in context. Let me read it then. My friend, read it in your head. I'm going to explain to people. Guys, this verse, now he is going to read it inside his head. And he will come to Can us I with an answer. Out? Okay. Come on. And then look, the viewers are watching, yeah? Uh -huh. It'll be nice for the viewers to understand everything. I'm giving you I time to read it. Part. I'm giving you time to read it. Search Google okay, or something. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Let Who's talking? Let me read. Who's talking? He said, he said, my Lord, because you have misled me, I will make things on earth seem good to them. And I will mislead them all, every one of them, except your slaves among whom are sincere. Alhamdulillah. And... He said, this is a straight path to me. You have no authority over my slaves. Allah is speaking now. You have no authority over my slaves, except for the misled who follow you. Hell is the promise me in place for all of all of them. Okay. It has where, seven where, gates. Where, where Allah? Each gate has its allotted share. Wait, wait. So what's the problem which with this verse, verse? Which verse Allah start talking? The one... Where Allah says you have no authority over my slaves. Okay, how you slaves know? How you know? Like... How you know this is Allah? Are you are you saying verse number forty? No, forty-two. Forty-two. So verse number yeah. forty-one is Shaitan still talking? No, no, no. You said to me forty-two. I said what verse Allah start talking? You said forty-two. Touch um, your nose, touch Allah your nose. is talking the one way he says you have no authority over my slave. Which verse? Which which, give me the verse number. Give me, give me, give me the verse. Give me the verse number which Allah now start talking. Uh, 41. 41. So now Allah is saying, this is, is the way which will lead straight to me. No, straight path to me. To you me. Have no authority okay, over your God Allah, look what you just said. Your God Allah... He need a straight bath for him. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, hold on. Who guided Allah Shaitan? Allah he agreed with Shaitan and he said to him, according to you, I ask I asked you, I repeat it. When Allah start talking, you said to me 41. And the, the verse, by the way, nowhere, nowhere it says Allah, but this is how stupid Islam is. Yeah, the Muslim Allah translation the says, Allah it. said, okay, who this is, is the okay, way, okay. this is the way the which previous, will lead straight okay, on, to me, right? But it says there, previous, Iblis said, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. it says, um, my Lord, because you misled me, I'll make things on earth seem to them, and I'll mislead all of them, um, except, your, uh, except your slaves among who are sincere. So that's what Allah responded, I said to him. Can you yeah? read again 41, please? He said, "This is look. You keep confusing me. You're stop not doing this, man." Who he said? Who's, he said, "Who he said?" Straight who, who, me. Who, who? You have who? no authority. He said, "Who?" Over... Who? Allah. What, what? What it says? He said, "Allah." No, no, no. Just he said. He said. Who? Which means Allah responded to him. Who? 
How you know this is yes. okay? If Allah is the one is talking, because Allah is talking. To, okay, um, so Allah is talking point. now, and He is saying He said. I mean, what's wrong with? I mean, it's not. What what's wrong with He said? So I am talking to you now, and I say instead of saying Christian Prince, I I say it. I say He said. Well, Allah calls Himself like these things, like. But it doesn't ah, mean it. Yeah, I got you. Weirdo. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Okay. So Allah said, Allah said, but there's no Allah. Okay, hold on. But look what it says. In, in the translation, the Muslim, they add words, is not there. It says in Arabic, Where is where is it says, this is the way which will lead straight to me. Where it says that? Where is the word me? There is he, you know, there's, there's he? No. There's no he. It says qala. Which means we can say like he said, okay, and this is the way, straight way. No, there is nothing to me. There is nothing to him. Okay, but this is okay. You can you read the this, verse again, forty-one? Can you read it in your translation? Well, you agree Allah is talking here on this one. Can you agree? Uh, can you read for no, me, forty-one, please? You agree with it? About you what? Agree about, what? about what? About like the straight path, and then he said, "You have no authority." Over any of we my will continue. Slaves. This okay, is a, this is a priceless, my friend. You will leave Islam by, after you read it. Go ahead. But read for me 41. He said, this is a straight path to me. What is the word me in the verse? Well, on the translation here, that's what he said. They are stupid. There's, here we go. You can copy. You can copy this to Google translation word by word. You will never find the word me. And now the funny thing is that the Muslim, they say that the Christian corrupted their book. But as you see, the Muslim, they add words not there they are sentences that there same time how Allah he says this is Sirat al-Mustaqim to me but the shaitan he's agreeing shaitan saying I will mislead them Allah he said this is a straight direction to me by what by misleading them he just said read carefully just read carefully Iblis said oh my lord hold on hold on your shaitan even worship Allah he did not become a kafir did he say, oh, my Lord? He did at the beginning, yeah. No, no, he no. Now he's Allah. shaitan. No, no, he's already shaitan now. He's shaitan. Even your Quran calls him shaitan. So now he is shaitan. And he is a Muslim shaitan. Look, I've just told you. Stop saying, stop saying to me, you. look. I cannot look more. I lost my eyes, man. Does it say, oh, my Lord? This is the guy he just worship Allah. I mean, Iblis knows that Allah... No, is no, Lord. this is not it's about just... knowing. This is not about knowing. He knows. Did he call him my God? Yes, because he knows that's his... Exactly. That's his Allah. So Muslim, the so shaitan is a Muslim, and he is obeying no, Allah. He's not. And now he's Allah not. and shaitan, they have a plan for the Muslims. Okay, can because I... Because you can misled I... me. Okay, how... Can you tell me how Allah misled shaitan? Allah didn't misled Satan. Satan misled The verse himself. says that, and the Quran, Allah agree. He said to him, isn't it you who said to me in verse number 41? Sorry, I have to see it slow. Isn't it you who said to me in verse number 41, this is the way which will lead to me? So Allah agree with him. Shaitan, he said, you misled me, and I will mislead everybody except the chosen one for you. Allah, he said, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, the chosen ones are like the prophets. No, no, Allah agree with everything he said. He did not say anything. He didn't say, I did not mislead you. I mean, <clears throat> obviously, um, yeah. mm -mm. human beings. Let me explain, mate. Uh, I'm not. I'm not scared, by the way. I'm not. I'm not one of those people you can play around. My with, friend, you are. Okay? You are different. Um, I can tell my I'm friend. You play golf, relaxed. don't you? Okay, and I respect people. I don't. I'm not. I'm not rude. My like friend, you, you are a Muslim. Okay? You don't respect anybody. Don't lie yourself. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it says he said this is a straight path to me. You have no authority over any of my slaves, hmm. except. For the misled who follow you okay okay so what's the problem with this I mean, so the, the problem is shaitan is a muslim allah he appointed shaitan to every prophet we show you the other verse allah he appointed the shaitan he did no, not, just, not just no no listen prophet, listen every it's, human being no no he said to the prophet chapter 6 verse 112 you remember the one i told you after 111 112 it says okay. we have you appointed we believe, have appointed to every prophet enemies she obtained okay. many of them. Okay. Do you believe prophets of God are tempted by Shaitan? This is not the question. The who, who is the one appointed them? Allah. Look, when it's <laughs> who is the one who is the one Shaitan is working for? If I appointed someone 
to help you or to do something against you. That means he worked for me. So shaitans, well, no, no, so shaitans, no. shaitans, my point, friend, shaitans, shaitans are employee of Allah and they are Muslims. And as you see, shaitan himself, he called Allah my Lord, my God. So he worship him. Now, Can let I us go, no, me? hold on. And now you just dig, dig a big hole for your prophet. The same chapter we did read, it says, and you are the one who like it very much, you say it, except, except those who they are your good servant. Did you agree with it? Uh, where is it? The one... Yeah, except... the verse number 41, Allah, he agree with him, even though the verse nowhere says this is Allah, but we will let it go. But, and then but who, he who says, he, verse, he verse, number, verse number 42 said, uh, certainly, who is Allah, Allah, who is speaking, Allah, Allah speaking, yeah. right, 42? Was Iblis talking to himself? Okay, no, 42. Exactly. Yeah, 42. And Allah agree with him. 42 says, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. Certainly, you shall have no authority over my slaves. Who is the slaves of Allah? The slaves here is talking about the prophets of Allah and the good ones, the ones that believe in Allah and worship him in a pure form. Okay. This is so, slaves. Okay, so. You have no authority to do what? Which means Satan cannot mislead, cannot control those people, cannot do like anything Wonderful. harmful towards those people. Guys, be my witness. Allah, he said that Shaitan, he cannot control the good ones. He can control only the bad ones, the criminals. The word there, actually, <laughs> it is the, 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 the Gawin. Which mean even the Muslim translation says who go astray, criminals, polytheists, evil doers. Do you agree? Yes, yes, but okay. I'm not sure. So I'm how shaitan, how shaitan, how shit how shaitan then control your prophet and he gave him the satanic verses? It, <laughs> there's no such thing called satanic verses. That's a made up story. Are you sure? <laughs> Hundred percent. Okay, here we go. The shit the, the Quran confirm it. It says, Where? never with <laughs> chapter 22, verse number 52. Okay, let's have a Sorry, look. <laughs> I have to say it slowly. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Okay, 22, 52. Hmm. Honestly, Christian Prince, you're a joke, you are. <laughs> 22, 52, honestly. Yeah, you know, I will give you endless penis, my friend. Don't worry, I will, I will become a prophet now. I will fix oh, the way I talk, talk and I will fix my logics. From now on, I will give you an endless penis Christian, and endless vagina. If you're a Christian and you're a follower of Jesus, you shouldn't talk like that. Ah, I'm talking like your prophet. That's what the prophet said. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to follow Jesus. That's what your there. prophet said. You just insulted your prophet. I was quoting your prophet, you stupid. Okay. What? Okay. You just insulted your prophet, and you said to me, "Okay." You just said to me, "You should not talk like this." You should. You said. You just said, "You, if you are a true Christian, you should not speak like this," which is what is dirty. And now we find out that this is I was quoting what your prophet said. Shame on you, potato. <laughs> continue. Continue. Okay. You know. So I really don't don't forget, by the way, to download the video and show it to your family. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> this one also I know about. So this you say well. you said <laughs> that Allah, that you, you said that uh, your prophet never receives satanic verses. Read the uh, Quran, chapter twenty-two, no, it, it verse says, number fifty-two. We did not send, like, like really out. Hmm. We did not send any messenger or any prophet before you without Shaitan insinuating something into his recitation. Insinuating, while he was, I like this word, insinuating yes, something. While he was reciting. Are you happy with it, what okay. you said? So what does Satan insinuating into the mouth of the prophet? Right. I, do you know what insinu um, ins insinuating means? No, I do not know. Is that like a cucumber? He put a cucumber in his mouth? What is that? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> this is your problem. I don't know. You see, I don't speak very good English. So insinuating, what insinuating mean? Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> what what Satan he insinuate? Oh, what Satan? Yeah? What Satan he insinuate in the mouth and the head of the prophet? Tell us, please. Okay, can I explain now? Why you keep saying? Can I explain? To, I'm just I just asked you the question. Okay. You keep saying the same thing. Okay, this verse it says we did not send any messenger or prophet before you, uh -huh. which means. You know, some are uh, the prophets of the past. So it's not just the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every Muslim prophet gets screwed. <laughs> are you finished? Can I, can I continue? Can I continue? 
Sure, sure. Please, please, please insinuate, insinu 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 to me. Go ahead, insinuate. We are, we are listening God. to the insinuating. Okay, so every uh, Muslim prophet gets screwed by shaitan. This is what the Quran is saying. Continue, continue. I love it. Okay, when it, say, when it says insinu insinuating, insinu which insinu it yeah. basically means to basically suggest, but this is like in terms of, yeah, um, tempting in your mind, ah. in your mind. But obviously, Satan cannot corrupt Allah's book. Allah says he will guide and protect his book. Allah said it already. So Allah's promise is never failed. Okay. Allah's promise doesn't fail. Okay. So don't go so, on and say it's in there. It's okay. not there. So wait, hold on. So how Allah will cancel it, Allah will delete it, Allah will uh, uh, erase it if it's not there. How you erase something is not there. I mean, only this, 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 the Muslims erase, are so... Sorry, hold on, erase, hold on, hold on. Erase. It's my time to talk. It's my time to talk. Listen. Okay, okay, so, right. brother... I am mm -hmm. going to erase all the writing in my book, which is not there. So how I'm going to erase something is not there. I mean, you Muslims are so genius. If it's not there, there is no need to erase it. But we erase only so, what is there. One, listen, listen let, let me talk. Let me talk. You see? Okay. So when I say I'm going to delete it, it says in Arabic, huh? you know what yansahu mean? Allah will abolish, Allah will destroy, Allah will take off. So this is already Quran. Allah will take it from the Quran. So shaitan already throw in it. It says in the front of me, here we go. But Allah abolished that which shaitan throw in. Throw in where? Go ahead. And then later it confirms, it says, Allah revokes whatever shaitan insinuates, which means Allah doesn't allow it, these things to happen. So you see, he didn't allow so it. It already happened. happened. Hold on. <laughs> Let's the the, 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 the already. The Chaitan already. The, listen, 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 listen. The Chaitan already. The Chaitan already did it, or this is before he it happened. It happened already. What do you mean he will not allow it? <laughs> Look, and not only that. I... Hold on, hold on. What if I show you the interpretation saying? That it took Muhammad a while until Jibreel come to his house and tell him, Habibi Muhammad, what you did, Muhammad? What you did, Muhammad? This is not from Allah. Okay, I, this is from Shaitan, man. So Muhammad, not only that, Muhammad, he bowed down. The pagan, they bowed down and they worship the same God, which is Aka Allah, the moon God. All of them, they are pagan. And he said, actually, he said a sentence. He said, Those are the daughters of Allah. It is their intercession is a must. You're a prophet, worship the three daughters of Allah, and you are telling me that Allah will abolish it. Too late. No, I didn't, and, I, and, can I and speak? Hold on. Can I speak? Yeah, and yeah, and the verse saying the, the previous verse we saw it says Allah speaking to Shaitan. Shaitan said to Allah, uh, I will uh, I will mislead them. Allah said to him, Certainly you can do that, except the mushrikeen. You can do that to them. The criminals, you can do that to them. You can lead where them astray. The polytheist, you can do that. The evil doer, which means Muhammad, does, does which means Muhammad, that? huh? Where does he say that? Allah, Allah where does he, where is that? Well, anyway, can I finish what this? What do you mean to say that? Are you, do you have a short memory? Can I finish the previous do you have a short one, memory like Muhammad? He says something you forget in the morning. Chapter 15, chapter one? 15, verse number 41. 40, 42. 42 no, is the one after 41. Chapter 22. Look, 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 look. You keep moving in a, No, no, we are connecting. We are connecting. This is why we went there. You are the one who quote for me the other one. Let me finish. Let, Listen, let me finish. So that Shaitan, one. Did Shaitan, did Shaitan throw the sentence in Muhammad's mouth? Yes or no? Can I can I respond to that? Sure. Lovely. And you're gonna interrupt me. <laughs> okay, that's a deal. Okay. I'll read it out again. We did not send any messengers or prophet or any prophet before you without shaitan insinuating something into his recitation while he was reciting. While he was reciting. Okay. But, did, but Allah revoked whatever shaitan insinuates and then Allah confirms his signs. So you see, this is talking about in terms of when the prophet is reciting, shaitan can come in your mind and put things in your mind. It's not talking about the book physically in the book like that. No, it's not talking about. It's talking about the sign. Uh, if you're reciting, even even us when we pray, yeah, Satan can come and be in your mind and try and play you around. We accept that. It's not just the prophet. It's even every single Muslim because Satan does that. You know? Do you understand? Do you, are you are you happy with that ex ex explanation? Can I talk? Yes. Thank you. 
this is you see look listen, we listen to, to each other yeah you said you can't talk better. you said to me yes. can i talk and now you're so not right. let me talk so let me talk let me talk okay go on, yeah. so yeah, go on. you go on. said and everybody heard you while he was reciting reciting what quran what 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 mm -hmm. happened shaitan he dropped muhammad quran he said to me not in the book there's no book at that time are you a monkey or what are you coming from the zoo there's no book i mean muhammad is making quran now and there's a book so now shit while he was reciting thank you very much for saying that shaitan he jumped in the head of muhammad he put his shoulder around his neck and he starts saying hoo, 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 hoo. the monkey muhammad is going to talk and now we are going to worship the three daughters of allah and he put in his mouth satanic verses and you just admit it while he no, was oh, no, you, you told me you would talk you told me it's my time now so okay, while he was reciting not while he's sleeping or dreaming no he's praying to allah and we know that muhammad he claimed that when a muslim to pray to allah and he is decent allah will guard him by two angels <laughs> look the angels of muhammad they were in vacation <laughs> So while he was reciting, the shaitan jump inside Muhammad and start using his tongue. And Muhammad start praising the daughters of Allah, saying their intercession is a must. And now you just admit it. And now you are saying to me, it's not in the book. But there was no book at that time. So it was a recitation. Is it the Quran? All of it is a recitation. So Muhammad, he received satanic verses. That mean when Muhammad in the Quran, the Quran says, Except your criminals, except the the atheist, except the polytheist, except the evil doers, except the child molesters, and this is why Muhammad was included. Okay. He's I not in the exception because he is one of them. Go ahead. Can I talk? Thank you. All right. Mm. Okay. Reciting. Yeah. I've just explained to you, and I'll do it again. Don't interrupt me, please. All right. Uh, okay. If you're reciting, yeah, uh, the Quran or you're praying, yeah. Satan will come in, yeah, and, tem and tempt you by putting things in your head. But it doesn't mean, yeah, Satan is actually um, uh, basically changing the Quran verses permanently. No, it doesn't do that. It's not like that. We accept that when we're reading Quran or praying, Satan does tempt and put things in our mind to uh, to be able to make us um, not able to read Quran properly. But it doesn't mean, yeah, it's permanently taken away because Allah says in the Quran, he will guide and protect the Quran from corruption. So Allah's promise is never fail. So don't go around and say, oh, because Satan was tempting the Prophet's last on recitation, yeah, the verses were changed. No, they weren't changed. You know, it stays the same, exactly the same. This is this this is what shows you Islam is an honest religion. This verse is there still, yeah, yeah. The Prophet could have taken it out, but he didn't. Yeah, this is a lesson for us as well. When we're praying or reading Quran, Satan can come, yeah, and insinuate, which means to put things in your head, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So I've explained to you already, yeah, please accept it and then move on to another verse. Because can I, can I talk? Understanding, no, 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 let me finish one more. Okay. The understanding here, I've just told you, is when you're reciting, Satan put things in your head. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't mean, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it yeah. changes the Quran verses. Thank yeah. you. You, okay. can, you can talk okay. now. Okay, but look what happened. You said to me, that shaitan, he will tempt you in your head. What tempt you? This guy, he spoke sentence. My idiot, my, I don't want to call you idiot, but you are being an idiot. He did not tempt him in his head to go sleep around. No. He spoke using his tongue. Muhammad, he spoke sentences, which is coming from shaitan. And if I say something given to me from shaitan, the second I do it, I am then you will be a satanic prophet. So you're a prophet at that moment confirmed in the Quran. He is a satanic prophet. And now you said to me, actually, this verse confirms Islam to be true and the Quran is protected. How we know? Because of this verse. Because Allah says. Let me talk. Let me talk. Because, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because now the Quran confirmed that the Quran uh -huh. is a shish kebab. Because how we know that this verse itself is not coming from shaitan? After the Muslim, they noticed that Muhammad is messed up. So shaitan, he said to them, don't worry, don't worry. We will take it. We will cancel it. So if shaitan was able to do it once, he mm -hmm. can do it twice. He can okay. do it can twice. I talk now? Oh, let me talk. Oh, what's wrong with you? Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. The one who can do it once, and Muhammad, obviously, his, his tongue is like lousy, you know, like shaitan, he can use it as much. You know, 
monkey. So shaitan now he put things in his mouth. Muhammad he say whatever shaitan he give him. Allah he come, he says, Don't worry, I'm going to reset. Okay, I'm going here. We go. I took it, I get off. But how we know now that this verse is self from the shaitan? Go ahead. Okay. I've already explained to you what you want me to explain again. Okay, oh. alhamdulillah. Okay, just to let you know as well, I'll be going in about hang on. I'll be going in about 10, 15 minutes here, yeah, just to let you know, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, I've, I've already explained to you when the Prophet وسلم, or Muslims or anyone reading, reciting the Quran or praying, Satan does tempt you, does come and actually put things in your mind. But it doesn't mean the Quran is actually changed. You know what I mean? But does it mean the Quran is changed? I've, I've told you this already, but you keep asking me about it. You know, the Prophet وسلم, also, Allah promised him and Muslims, the Quran will be guided and protected from corruption. So Allah also said, Allah's promise is always fulfilled. So this verse here, we we accept, yes, yeah, Satan, when we're praying and reading Quran, Satan can come and, and put things in your head. But it doesn't mean, yeah, it's going to change anything from the Quran. Okay? Are we clear with this? Okay, read the verse for me, the second one, and you will see you. For you. Just wait. The verse after it is getting you busted. The Quran okay, is so not the class. Hold on. Allah, he claimed he will take it off, but the Quran says no. The one which Allah throws, shaitan, is going to be a trial for you. So how he took it off and how is going to be a trial in the verse after it? Shut, hold on. So if it is gone, I erase it. It means there's no trial. But satanic verses, it is still in the Quran, and the proof is the verse after it. So Allah, you know, the, he, he make what is it thrown in. Allah will make it. Listen carefully. And here we see the total agreement between Shaitan and the God of Muhammad. They are one God. Shaitan is their God. Allah no. will make what is thrown in by Shaitan a trial. So it is there. He never took it. He will use where, it. Where does he say that? Where does he say oh that? Oh boy. Verse number 53, which is before okay, shall verse... I, shall I read it out? Shall I read it out for you? Yes, yeah, shall. Go ahead, shall. Okay. And then after, I'll, I'll explain, yeah? Uh-huh. It says, so that he can make the shaitan insinuate a trial for those with sickness in their hearts, yeah? And for those whose hearts are hard and wrongdoers and uh, enriched in hostility. Do you want me to read again or? <laughs> I don't know what I say. I mean, is it a clear shaitan? He throw Quran is still there because this is, will be a trial for the believers. You keep saying to me, do you want to read more? Read more what? It says confirm there that what shaitan he throw is still there and is going to be a trial for the Muslim, not for us. We are not Muslims. So you Muslim now. Read no, it, it, says a it says a trial with sickness in their hearts. Exactly. And for those who have so shaitan now will cause you to be sick in your heart. Because the verses are still there, but you said to me that Allah, he used the detergent and he wiped it off and he cleared it and he put the alcohol well, minute, and he destroyed well, all the viruses. My friend, you have 10 minutes left. Just go. I don't have okay. time for kids. Just go. What a potato. <laughs> don't speak fast. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? How you took it off, and this is verses will be slid many people. How it's not there, but it's going to be a big problem for the Muslims. And you see, all those things here are just addition. The Muslim they lie in translation. Look, look how small it is in Arabic. Look, look how small it is, and look how long it is in, in English. They have to add sentences, it's a newspaper. And the funny they say that the Quran is not corrupted. You know, you when you add all those things, you are corrupting the Quran. So we took it from the Quran, but it is still in the Quran. By the way, Shaitan was throwing satanic verses metaphorically. <laughs> You know, guys, when I was talking to you, Shaitan, he put something in my head. Let me say it to you. I don't want people to know about it, but I find myself, I cannot resist the Shaitan controlling. Christian Prince, 
But of all, Tritan, he did not control the Prophet of Allah. He controlled his tongue only. So how he controlled his tongue? Do you think he was using electric, electric gadget? Exactly. So the Prophet, he was a very nice person. And he's very naive at all other people. You don't say all Arab people naive. I'm an Arab. I'm not naive. Christian friends, you are naive. Like, well, I'm not naive. You are naive. I'm not naive. You are naive and I can prove it. Okay, prove it. Let me examine it to you. Is the Prophet Muhammad, he said, you can drink camel urine? Okay. And the Arab, they drink camel urine? Yeah, exactly. They are naive. <laughs> and the other guy, he put, he make a comment that you know, Christianity is not logical. Drinking camel urine, eating the poo poo of the camel of Aisha, fighting over the dirt of the underwear of Muhammad. Muhammad, his poo poo, the earth is uh, split and eat it and swallow it. Muhammad received the Fatiha when he was doing poo poo. Allah, he sent an angel to squeeze him at the time. And no mayonnaise is coming. And the Prophet did not know what's happening. And he said to the angel, I told you I cannot read, man. What's wrong with you? Why you keep squeezing me? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Huh? And the angel did not even say to him, he's an angel. So he squeezed again and he squeezed again. And Muhammad, he have no idea what's going on. And then he go to his wife. He said to her, what's wrong with me? <laughs> And the Abduli say, let us go back to his comment. We do not know what Jesus said. And then he said, Jesus spoke Aramaic. <laughs> listen, listen. We do not know what Jesus said, but Jesus spoke Aramaic. <laughs> Dual, isn't it your Quran says we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his people? So that Jews now are Aramaic people? <laughs> Man, they look like one. And then uh, the book of the Bible were written from heresy, the key of other Jesus, the keys. I, th I thought uh, Zachariah, he said, the, Brother Titor, the book of the one written 40 years after Titor. You Muslims don't have a single page for the Quran. In fact, we Christians, we have the original. Why? Because even if we have like the most preserved one is the one written in leather, those ones are copy of the what is exist at that time. So now the Christians, all the 300 years in the beginning of their mission, they were the poor, discriminated, killed. They are not kings. They are poor people. So when we have a king, he become a Christian. Finally, we have a book written on leather. In Islam, the, from the first day, you Muslim have all the wealth because you killed the Jews, you killed the Christian, you killed the Arab, you stole their money, and you, Muhammad becomes so wealthy, yet you didn't have a Quran. Until now, we don't have a single page of the Quran, not a single one. Even the one which was a gift from a Christian priest, which was Muslim make a big noise about it, it's not the same as the Quran, and it does not have the written of the Quran. It was the letter dated to the time of Muhammad, not the ink. Where is the Quran? I advise you to watch the video of Uthman. Uthman, he went to a Christian guy and he wanted to show him the real Quran, the Quran of Uthman, brother. And then in the same book, it says, it is obvious that this Quran have nothing to do with the Quran of Uthman. You have zero. Even the enemies of a Christianity, like Mr. Borat, he said, there is no book in the world have manuscript as the Bible. No book in the world never exist the bible in the same time when a muhammadan he speak against the bible he forgot his stupid god claiming that the bible is coming from him so he is giving a screwdriver to allah because if the quran is a preserved and the bible is not that mean allah again he is satan and he is the one behind the corruption can anything happen by against the will of allah no no. Can somebody change the book of Jesus without the will of Allah? No. And by the way, according to Islam, this is not the book of Jesus. This is the book of Allah. And now you are making a curse against Allah because the book is not the book of Jesus according to Islam. It is the book of Allah given from Allah to Jesus. So when a Muslim, he speak, you know, and then he say, there is only one God. But then we find that Muhammad, God, he pray. 
Allah is the one who pray on you. And then how the Muslim they translate, they say he sent a blessing. But all of us, we knew that salah does not mean blessing. There's a huge difference between salah and blessing. Salah is a prayer. There is only one God, the Bible. Yes, there's only one God. But from the first page in the Bible, you will find in the Old Testament that God and his spirit. And then God, he came in the same book. He came to Abraham as a man. There's only one God. So you Muslims are a bunch of fools. You do not know what the Christianity teach. No wonder that the Quran says when the Christian, they say we are the children of God. What the stupid Allah said? <laughs> How come you are children of Allah? You are just a human. Look what? You are just a human, okay? So the Christian, when they say we are children of God, they are saying that God, he married our mother and we gave birth, you know, we, the, our, our mother gave birth to us after sex with God. This is telling you that the one who wrote the Quran not only is an idiot in religion, he's idiot in understanding what he is debating about. If somebody, let us say I am not a Christian and somebody came to me and say, uh, uh, I, I came to a, a Christian and say to him, hey Christian, why you say you are children of Allah? Did your God have sex with women and you're a woman and now he gave baby birth to you? But this is not what the Christians say. So the accusation proving that the God, the one, the one is answering, proving that he is ignorant, he's a stupid, he cannot be God because not a single Christian believe that he is not a human being when he says child of God. Do you think a person have little, little, little brain, he will say such a statement? Is that how you refute the Christians? You are just a human. So if you could not understand a, a little sentence of what the Christian believe, and this is your God, I'm not expecting you as an Abdul who believe in endless penis to, to understand what I believe. Yesterday, we asked the guy, who is the father of Jesus? He said that Jesus is from the semen of Adam. <laughs> you know what? I will tell you what happened. I think Adam, who was, he did masturbate, you know? I mean, a couple of thousand years ago. All right? And then Allah, he saved the masturbation of Adam. He put it in a jar. And then, like, okay, a couple of thousand of years after, he put it like in the jar in the in the carburetor, and then he said, okay, now I'm going to make it. The guy, his name is Isa, so he said, tell him, tell him, hello, uh, the mother of Isa. Okay, I'm going to send you a jar. It's not honey. Okay, it's not honey. No, this is not honey. Don't think it's. Honey. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I will blow it in your private part, and then you will have a guy. His name is Isa. So now the Muslims trying to explain how Jesus came to the existence. They come to the conclusion that this is from the semen of Adam. I'm not going to tell my dad this. He will go and shoot Adam. If I say to him like, oh boy, don't ever mess with him. Do you see how stupid this religion is? And the stupid Quran, which make it more funny, confirmed the book between our hands. And then the Abdul says, we do not know what Jesus said. Boy, oh boy. Christian prince in France. In France. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, I speak French very well. Let me explain this verse to you in French. And Lou, both the Lou Jews and Lou the Christians, Lou we are the children, Lou of Li Allah, Lou, and uh, that's it, you know, you know, you know the thing. And Muhammad, he claimed that he speak good Arabic, by the way. And then the second you, and you read the Quran, you will find that this is the most ever messed up book. Like when he was speaking to the shaitan here, you know, when the guy, he said, Qala. Who's, who is the one who's talking? Shaitan is talking, and suddenly it says here, he said, who? 
Who, 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 who said the Muslim, they put between two brackets, Allah to fix the stupid Quran. How we know now this is Allah or not? And it doesn't make sense to say this is Allah saying that because it says, Hada siratun ala mustaqim. Even the sentence doesn't make sense. You see, the word siratun mustaqim, it says siratun mustaqim, not siratun ala mustaqim. Mustaqim mean a penis. Mustaqim mean a penis. So when you say, Hada siratun ala mustaqim, you just said, this is a bath over the penis. What a stupid religion. And how Allah is the one, this is why the guy, he jumped over it like it's embarrassment. He said, how you know this is Allah? It says, he, uh, it says he said, who? I said, why Allah saying he said, if he's the one who's talking? Isn't it obvious that this book is written by the hand of a man and he is reporting a story? And this is going to be the one they call him Allah is talking? <clears throat> anyway, did we have a good time, guys? Had we had a good time? And did I speak slow today? You see, the Muslims, I noticed that the Muslims like me more when I sleep, speak slowly, you know? Like, okay, so who's the one is talking now, you know? Because when I speak fast, suddenly is English, my English, he cannot understand it. Suddenly, he can't understand my English. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I want to convert to Islam, man. Those versions waiting for me. And the funny is, each time you do boom, boom with them, after two minutes, they are version again. What a cheater. I mean, I just slept with this woman and you are making her version again. Are you fooling yourself or fooling who? Allah, he put his finger there and being she is version. Allah, the vagina will be machine. You see the virginity, why Allah, he promised them versions. Do you know those people are sick? Those men, I mean, you are talking about women in heaven, and now you are in heaven. So what version mean in heaven? What does that mean exactly? When there's nobody is going to be virgin there, and this is the land of sex. But because Muhammad, he knew that those Arab men, they like to be the first one. He don't care, by the way, later, if she have 10 men before him, Muhammad himself, all his women, they slept with many before him, except Aisha. Later, she slept after him with many. According to the Hadith, Aisha, she used to decorate slave girls so she can hunt the youth of Quraysh. And we hunt with her, so she make her a slave woman, slave, you know, beautiful slave girl, but makeup, we are exposing clothing and to work in Quraysh. So she walk and the, the youth one will follow her to a house and then Aisha will be waiting there. I invite you all of you to convert to Islam. First of all, you will have endless one. And I will tell you the benefit of endless one. One of the benefit, not necessarily limited, you can contact <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to be like not realistic. How much we spend money for pipeline hmm? to deliver oil between oceans and sea? How much money we spend? Imagine you will have a penis, penis, which is endless. You drink oil, you piss oil. 
and what they will have it in the other side of the galaxy <laughs> and bother does it go straight or we can bend it i'm not sure because if it goes only straight we might have a problem it might go in the eye of somebody so if Allah can confirm to us how it's going to be, please let us know. Logic people. People of logic. Allah come down every day. People of logic. Allah, he sent an angel to Moses and Musa did beat him. He don't want to die. You know what? First time I saw this story about angel uh, who sent to Moses. Uh, really, I got so proud of him. The first one, the first one, who did beat Allah by karate. I mean, when Allah, he sent an angel to... Uh, To take the life of somebody is it up to you to say i want to die i don't want to die what does that mean can i say i don't want to die can i stop the, the the decision of allah so the angel came to moses and this is what i do every time with, with muslims when they call me i mean their eyes pop out like crazy abu huraira which means the father of the cats said, the cats, Allah Messenger said about the death of Moses, when the angel of death come to Moses, respond, he said to him, respond to the call of Allah, i.e., be prepared to death, man. Moses gave him a blow at his eye of the angel of death and knocked it out. Wow. What the heck? He's an angel. And now, Moses, he knocked his eye out. <laughs> you know what? This is why when Allah he sent me a letter says, Hey ZB, are you willing to work as an angel for me? I said, Get lost, man. You know, you send me to someone who's a Jew, he play karate, he will beat the hell off me and I will not be able to do my job. Thank you very much. No, no, you will be the angel of death. What death, man? Are you talking? Are you kidding me? Don't you know what Moses did to the angel of death? He broke his wings. He took his eye out and then all you, he went back to you and what you do to him? Nothing. You did not even send the police for him. You just fixed the eyes of the angel. I don't want to be an angel. You know what? I can work as a driver for the angel. Uh, but I'm not the one who will go out in, inside the house of Moses. Sorry. You do it. I'm not even going to knock at the door of Moses. You do it. I will drive you all the way to the house of Moses. You know what? I will drop you like 200 meters away. Just for safety. And you, the angel of death, you go inside the house of Musa, and then Musa, and you know, imagine the angel coming from the house of Musa, like, <laughs> and he go back to Allah, like, like a susu, you know, what the heck? What a susu you are, so you don't fight back? You're an angel, you have 600 wings, bings, wings, and then you, he go back to Allah, look what did, Allah, look what did Musa did to me? And Allah, look, um, hmm. yeah, I forgot he is a Jew.
Mm. Yeah, I forgot to mention to you that Moses have a black belt kar karake. Say it too late, Allah. Look what he did to me. <laughs> And the Muslim is speaking about logic. And you know, by the way, uh, what his name did that? He was making fun of the Bible saying that Israel, he, he wrestled with God, he struggled with God. But the stupid Muslims, they have in their book the name Israel. So if you don't ag agree with the story, why his name become Israel? His name is Jacob. Do you see the stupidity? Too bad. I did not get him. He died. Potato. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. And I hope all of you, your, your ears, your eyes, nothing pop out because Musa was here with us. See ya. And God bless you. Victory to Jesus. Only to Jesus. Amen.